Hey guys, Kaz back here with Chode Engineering Performance. Today we're going to be talking a little bit uh, again, continuing the 7.3 uh, billet freeze plug that we have and why you need it uh, if you're building an engine, uh, if you're doing a DIY, you know, you just send it off to the machine shop or you just really want an improvement over what your, uh, your factory plug would be like. They come from the factory with a press-in soft plug like this. This is basically the freeze plug because the casting uh, on the engine is, um, because it's cast, they have to get the residue, the sediment, the sand, all that stuff has to be gotten out of it. So you have these holes in the block. A lot of guys think that the reason for that is is so that, uh, you know, that, that if the block were to freeze and they were cooling in it, it would have something to push out and keep from cracking the block. Um, that's not the purpose of it though. The purpose of it was for the manufacturer. But to teach you something real quick on this block that mm, I don't think I've ever heard anybody talk about, uh, we had some issues with these plugs these plugs, the factory plugs, that were actually blowing out. And we would always notice when they would blow out, uh, they would always blow out, it seems like, the same place each time. Um, and you would notice it more, it seems like, around the engine mount area. It could be this plug, sometimes this plug, but it would always be where your engine mount uh, was. And so we kind of you know, got to looking at that and wondering why, my, you know, why that might be. Um, so, with a little bit of investigation, I can show you, uh, we can do some testing today real quick. Um, what this looks like, though, is the billet freeze plug, and the way that we've designed it, does not blow out. This is just a press fit. So you'll take this plug, and it's about a 15 thousandths press fit, and this isn't the right one for the block because I want to show you, but it just presses into that hole there, and it's retained through the press that's on it. To give you an idea, for those of you that aren't machinists and may not know, what a 15 thousandths press fit looks like, that's about how much of a press is on it. That's 15 thousandths, if you see there at the needle, um, at the tip of the, uh, the caliper, it's very little press that's on that. So any flexing that's done on the block can cause that to blow out. And what we're seeing is an engine goes down the road, if, any, you know, if you've ever been uh, sitting next to a big truck or across from a big truck at, uh, at a, at a uh, crossing, and they go to take off, you'll notice the torsional load and the flexing of that, of that big truck. Well, when we got to looking a little closer at the block, we noticed that there was a lot of flexing that was going on. And that's because, um, now let me say this, the reason for the factory plugs not being so much of a problem, not blowing out, is that the second time through, a lot of sediment, okay, and a lot of trash. These are older engines. I mean, the newest engine you could possibly get for a 7.3 would have been a 2003. That's 20 years old, 21 years old. So these blocks have seen a lot of rust and contamination and sediment. Even though we clean these things out, the problem with it is, is it's gonna wind up uh, causing an area, a hole that might not allow for the as large a press fit as what originally was. So going back through on a remanufactured engine, that's always a cause for concern. If we take now though, and we measure um, with an ultrasonic tester what the thickness of this block is, we'll find out really fast that this block's actually not as thick as uh, some other blocks might be. The thickest part of that block um, is in the Y direction if we're looking at it this way. And if we measure that, you'll see we've got a half inch thickness there, which is pretty common. Uh, every other block that we check, that's about what you're gonna see. When we go and we check the fillet area right here by the block though, you can, uh, you can see the thinnest area of it is just a little over a quarter of an inch, okay? So we've got a thick area here, a thick area here, and on both sides where this fillet is in this casting area, it's, really, it's actually really thin there, a quarter of an inch thick. And so those are the areas that actually twist from this block, it flexes, and we see these freeze plugs blowing out. Now what we've done to fix this, because Chode Engineering is all about solutions to OE problems, and in this case, a lot of times a remanufactured problem, maybe, um, is that we've designed these billet freeze plugs. And in the billet freeze plug, uh, it has an O-ring for sealing in case there's any damage area around uh, where these ports are because sometimes they can become uh, a little bit pitted. Uh, we have an O-ring here that seals that. And then we have this back plate that uh, is matched so that it, it when it's installed, it actually goes in behind the block and sandwiches to this and it's uh, retained by these countersink screws, as you see right here. And that will hold this plug in place and keep it from blowing out. That's the reason why we do it. 
we call it fashion by function. Uh, it's a beautiful part. It really dresses up an engine, um, but having a purpose for that makes it even better. So if you're doing a, a build for your 7.3, uh, you just send it to the machine shop, you're getting ready to put it back together, and you want something better than factory, give us a call. We can, uh, we can set you up with a set of billet freeze plugs. Um, this way you don't have to worry about getting down the road and then losing all the coolant Bad things could really happen if one of those plugs blows out, you're gonna lose all the coolant on the side of the road, end up having to have the truck towed. Um, it could cause damage if you didn't see it and you continue to drive it and cause an overheating condition. So it could be a really, really big problem. But there's no reason to be concerned with that. Get a set of billet freeze plugs, be done with this and never have a worry. Thanks for watching, see you next time.